आज का एक्साइटमेंट लेवल तीन गुना है कल के चिल आउट के बाद आज हम एक्सप्लोर करेंगे वेट एंड वाइल्ड साइड ऑफ इंडोनेशिया इस बार कोई वॉल माउंटेन नहीं है ना ही जंगल और लीचेस हैं। हम जा रहे हैं अंडर वॉटर यस वी आर गोइंग स्कूबा डाइविंग सो लेट्स गेट अंडर वॉटर और देखते हैं इंडोनेशिया के पानी के अंदर की दुनिया सो डाइव इन टू एक्सप्लोरिंग इंडोनेशिया विद मी आलिया Today, Pulawe gave me the best experience of my life, and I can say this without any doubt that scuba diving is a game changer. It completely changes your perspective. You think you know, and then you discover what lies under water. It's another world. It mesmerizes you. It stuns you. It shocks you. It gives you the feeling of belonging it makes you realize how much more there is in this world and how little a speck you really are i obviously was very excited about scuba diving i've never done it it's the first time <gasps> it's the first dive of my life a virgin dive today at pulove i am at uh, monster divers it's the best uh, diving company here and uh, yes it's raining yes the waters are choppy but yes i am going to dive so let me go and get trained get dressed and let's hit the waters We have to. Yeah, we have to because we are. We are. We are. DSC. DSC. Discovery we're discovery divers. divers. Huh? Today three dives. So the three of us are going to do three dives. You four are going to do two dives only mm. because there's not enough time to do three dives for the. They DSC. were going to take okay. you in the shallow first to okay. teach okay. all. Okay. But. But the conditions are not going to allow it. Here. Allow what? Allow the taking test. you here. So. Your DSD is also going to be some other location. Okay. The plan was to do three dives, but it was skimmed down to two because we started late and it was a bit new for us, etc. So during the training, Nico, who was our trainer from Monster Divers Pull Away, he gave us few survival tips. So Nico, who is the diving instructor here, has given us some briefing right now. Your guide today, okay? Are you good swimmers? Yeah. You know how? No. You know how to swim? Yeah. yeah. How to float? Yeah. You don't, don't know how to even float. Okay. Okay, guys. Basically, I'm gonna explain you some basic things about pressure. It, it's you see on the water, the main thing is gonna be the pressure, right? So first, I will do it one time. It is not enough. You guys, I will ask you one by one, not together. So I will first ask you. to do the exercise when you finish the exercise i will ask you to do it and one by one we will do it okay i will show you few basic uh, signs with the hands yeah okay first you are going to relax okay second exercise water inside the mask the exercise is first we are going to look down to the bottom to your feet right and then we are going to press on top of the mask huh? so press on top make it loose down and keep exhaling from the nose okay, okay? is not all good hey no it's some problem uh, stress or whatever my ears or this guy i don't like this guy or i don't know whatever that's problem yeah okay that's okay that's problem That means up. That means down. That means sides, right? Yeah. See, that means close to me. Yeah? If I want you to be close to me, come here. And shark. Shark. Hopefully we see shark. Okay. And then another signal, very important. In this area, there is a lot of uh, poisonous fish. Yeah, stonefish, scorpion fish, lionfish. Mm, stingrays, snakes, anemones, almost everything is poison. So that means we don't touch anything. 
and the water. This is we want to go up. Exactly. This is what we want to go down. Exactly. Sideways. Exactly. Not okay. Problem. Not okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Also that one. Awesome. I think it's and enough. And then uh, this is. Yeah. So we just got done with our training. Uh, Nico was obviously telling us uh, what to do, what not to do, a lot of signs, uh, how to communicate underwater, uh, remembering to breathe, <laughs> very important, and making sure that we don't panic, which as humans I think we tend to do because underwater, I'm not used to it. But uh, I am pretty excited about this, like, and let's do this. extensive uh, briefing that Nico gave us. We put on the gear, we were told about how the gear works. Um, the gear is really heavy, the cylinder itself can just like make your back just feel very tired after a bit. And uh, we got into the bodysuit, we got out and we hit the waters. Okay. Yay. Yay. first dive is of course a very shallow dive, like he took us to two or three meters just to give us, just to test our buoyancy, just to see how we freak out, how we behave underwater. So I did not know how my body would react once it hits water. But to my utter surprise, um, the moment we went inside and after a few drills of water going inside and coming out of your nose and eyes bleeding and all that jazz. After that, I was like fish to water. I suddenly in a minute just decided to take it in and own that. And the moment I made that switch mentally, the moment I decided I am okay, I was okay. And I started breathing right. So in, in scuba diving, for any of you who have done scuba diving, you will understand the experience that I am about to share with you. The first time you go underwater, everything becomes blue and then slightly darker blue. It, it is unbelievable. After the first dive, which, where we saw nothing, we barely must have seen a fish or two because we were barely underwater, we were like two meters. I came out and when I came out after those 45 minutes, I was crying. I was crying. I couldn't stop appreciating nature, I couldn't stop thanking God, I couldn't stop hugging people around me because that for me was was just amazing. Like there's no word that can do justice to that. Okay. 
Yes, but you you are very good. You, yes. was, you, know, you yes, wanted to always go somewhere. I wanted him to lose my hand. I was just like, thank you. I'm very glad that you like it. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, we had this experience together. Yeah, yeah. Bravo. Bravo. Awesome. I think you did a great job. Guys, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I think we did do much better. It's the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after lunch, after a quick break of an hour and a half, we again went back to dive. I saw fishes that are straight out of someone's imagination. Like you imagine a fish. Imagine it. Yellow fin, dots, tent. Just imagine whatever you want to imagine, whatever colors you want to imagine. And there is a fish like that underwater. That was complete and absolute harmony underwater. If a group of fishes was just swimming in a direction and then you see these uh, eels and snakes and, and just coexisting in, in absolute and complete, it was a joy to watch. In your oxygen tank, you go down with 200 bars of oxygen it's a must for the instructor for safety reasons to bring you back up and put you back up on the boat because that's it, your dive's done. And the first time because I was breathing a lot more than I usually do when you're on land, you don't like consciously breathe, you don't like go <gasps> But when you're underwater, I think just because your body is kind of getting used to it, so the first time around I exhausted my tank really soon. Like in 45 minutes I got the bar down from 200 to 50. So we had to can the dive and we had to finish it. But the second time around, oh, I was a gangster. I was rationing my breathing. I was like, I don't need to breathe for a couple of minutes. Let me just enjoy the scenery. Let me just look at the fishes, the colors. And I would just ration my breathing to a point where I, I think we hit 50 minutes and my tank was down to just 100. So I still had 50 uh, bars to go, but one of our members had, had dropped their bar and they were on 50, so we had to come back up. But I did not want that dive to end. For that matter, I could still jump in water and go for a night dive, but that's not really recommended for me right now. But this clearly for me is the start of an addiction. that I was not introduced to this experience earlier in my life like I had to wait to be 30 why I could have done this at 17 18 15 I would have been killing it by now I would have been, I would be pro at this but uh, you start when you start and this is a good start so in diving sign language today has been 